Good, mo good morning. As a candidate for Illinois State Senate, I strive to allow people to get to know me, to know what my goals are, to know what my priorities are, and to know what my record is. Uh, after being elected, those priorities should not change. It should not change for me. It should not change for any elected legislator. They should understand that the taxpayer is a stockholder and has an interest in the business of the state of Illinois. It disturbs me that when at 2 o'clock in the morning a bill can be introduced and asked to be voted on so that when taxpayers wake up the following morning, they then realize that now a week of their salary has been taken away from them in a 67% tax increase. Those kind of things need to stop. Taxpayers need to be informed. They need to know what's going on. They have a vested interest. Therefore, I would recommend that 24 hours before a bill is to be voted on, that there be no any adjustments, any amendments to that bill. And it should be given to the public to see 24 hours in advance. And if any amendments or adjustments are made, the 24-hour clock starts anew. So that, again, those taxpayers can have the right to see what's in front of them and what's going to affect their lives for the, for the rest of their life. Legislators don't just vote on tax policy and vote on criminal uh, what's criminal and what's, what's not. They vote on things that affect people's lives. And people and taxpayers deserve the right to know what's going on in advance. Last week I was here talking about the pension issue and the fact that $18 million a day was being squandered because of our lack of leadership in the legislature. One week later, seven days later, and $125 million later, here we stand. Those kind of things get covered up. They get hidden behind the doors, the closed doors of the Capitol. This kind of thing has to end. I'm here today with my friend, Adam Angievsky, who is a staunch advocate for transparency in state government. I'd like to call him forward and maybe talk a little bit about uh, his website, with openthebooks.com. And he continues to be an advocate for that transparency, so I'd like to just call Adam forward to say a few words. Thank you. Thanks, Adam. Happy to be here today. My name is Adam Angievsky, and as you may remember, I ran for governor of Illinois for the Republican nomination in 2010 on a pl platform of transparency, every dime online in real time. Although I didn't win the race, I've tried to perform on my promise by founding OpenTheBooks.com. And at OpenTheBooks.com last fall, we posted the pay and pensions of virtually every single public employee at every level of Illinois government, for the first time giving taxpayers the ability to answer the simple question, how much does my government cost me? Today I'm here and I'm proud to be here to endorse Randy Fries as he runs for state senate on a robust reform measure, a measure that would open the books on the opaque legislative process in Springfield. The measure is very important because typically our annual budget is popped into a shell bill only a couple hours before it's voted on and legislators don't even have time to read the bill. It's also important because the last pension reform in 2010 was a pension reform bill that was that was first allowed to be seen by legislators only a couple hours before they voted for it. This policy is very robust. It needs to come to a vote in Springfield. The opaque, closed door, smoke-filled back room in Springfield needs to end. Great. Thank you. Any questions? Good. 